Turning the tables on Israeli Prime Minister, a former Netanyahu aide has turned rival in what looks like an end of Netanyahu's era in Israel. Far-right Yamina party leader Naftali Bennett has decided to join forces with the opposition leader Yair Lapid. Naftali has thrown his crucial support behind a unity government to unseat Benjamin Netanyahu. Now, this would prove to be a major step towards ending the 12-year rule of the Israeli leader. It will also end the political crisis in Israel that led to four consecutive elections in two years. Warning against Netanyahu taking Israel towards suicide, Yamina party chief Naftali Bennett has said there is no feasible way for the hardline right wing to assembling a right-wing majority in the parliament. Right now, the unity government or elections are the only two options. Bennett said that going to additional elections would collapse the country, while a unity government would end the cycle of political deadlock. The political crisis in Israel is a failure in the world. It is possible to go to the 5th, 6th, 7th, to break the country to the country after the country, עד שהבית שלנו ייפול עלינו, ואפשר לעצור את הטירוף ולקחת אחריות. אין ממשלת ימין. כבר ארבע מערכות בחירות ועוד חודשיים הוכיחו לכולנו שפשוט אין ממשלת ימין בראשות נתניהו. זה או בחירות חמישיות או ממשלת אחדות. calling the possible coalition government a danger for the security of Israel. Netanyahu has urged nationalist politicians who have joined the coalition talks not to establish what he called a leftist government. Don't <laughs> מה זה יעשה להרתעה הישראלית? איך נראה בעיני אויבינו? מה יגידו באיראן? מה יגידו בעזה? מה יעשו באיראן? ובעזה? מה יאמרו במסדרונות הממשל בוושינגטון? If a new government is formed, it will be the most wide-ranging coalition ever formed in Israel. Opposition chief Yair Lapid would be allowed to put together a coalition of right-wing, centrist and left-wing parties. and hand Netanyahu his first election defeat since 1999. Now, Netanyahu has been the most dominant figure in Israeli politics over the past three decades. The 71-year-old has been in power consecutively since 2009, but has failed to decisively win four elections since 2019. He is now on trial on corruption charges that he denies. Yair Lapid, who is the head of the centrist Yesh Atid party, faces a June 2nd deadline from Israel's president to announce a new government. Now, Bennett's Yamina party's six seats in the 120-member parliament will help him do so. Under a prospective power-sharing deal, Bennett would replace Netanyahu as the prime minister. He will later give way to centrist Lapid in a rotation government. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.